hey guys welcome back to my channel it's a girl t and i'm back with another video so guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this beautiful butterfly rod skirt i have on me right now so i'm going to be showing you guys how to make it with and without an elastic tape the alterations you have to make when making this with a strap so if that's something you're interested in make sure to like subscribe turn off post notification and without further ado guys let's get this video started so yeah i already folded in my fabric like you've seen i measured out my allowance which was measuring one and a half and then making use of the my highest body circumference which was my hip and which is measuring 36 to know the amount of fabric i need so yeah my actual length is 26 so normally you can multiply yours by two but for mine i just added half of 26 plus a quarter so half being 13 and a quarter being seven and a half so 26 plus 13 gives me 39 and plus seven and a half gives me 46 and a half and that's the length of the fabric i'm going to be working with so yeah this the length of this sketch right now is measuring 46 and half and yeah so this butterfly rose skirt i'm gonna be adding six inches allowance so yours can be more or it can be less depending on how wide you want the butterfly effects to be so for mine i made use of six so what i'm gonna be doing now i'm just going to be marking out my waist measurements my waist measurement is 26 divided by four gives me six and a half so plus six inches allowance gives me 12 and a half and i'm later going to be adding the half inch for bending the sides so yeah on a normal day for my pencil skirt my hip measurement is normally at nine so but for this butterfly rod skirt it's going to be from like this cadet form so i'm going to be making use of 13 inches so at that 13 inches that's where i'm going to be marking out my hip measurement so my hip measurement is 36 36 divided by four gives me um nine so i'm gonna be marking out nine inch there and adding six and a half inches giving me 15 first and then extra half inch. so yeah i'm going to be connecting the waist and the hip together but before i do that i'm going to go to my hip line which was 13 and from there i'm gonna be marking two inches above and two inches below which and on that part is going to be straight so i do this for all my skirt pattern so you can check my videos on how i make pencil skirt how i make um, a pencil skirt with rushes ruffles sorry and all those so i normally take two inches off above and two inches there and i'm just going to be connecting the two inches above to my waistline making use of my tape so you can make use of your hip cuff your ruler or whatever for my immediate of my tape i'm just going to be connecting both the actual measurement and also connecting the allowance together yeah so from the two inches below the hip line it's going to be perfectly straight both for the actual body measurement and also for the allowance that the butterfly part they are all going to be straight so the next thing i'm just going to do now will be to go ahead and cut this out with the use of my scissors So yeah, after I was done cutting it out for the front part, I came down by one inch and I'm going to be slanting it at just in the video and cutting it out. So now that I'm done with this, the next thing I'm going to be doing will be to head over to my sewing machine now and fold the edges of the skirt. That's the top, the sides and the bottom piece also. So I'm just going to like give it this kind of like double fold and then um, go ahead to sew it on my sewing machine all around the skirt the top the sides and the bottom like i said so after i was done this i was looking like it's looking so pretty already so yeah i went ahead to the top the sides and the bottom i also went ahead to do this for the back piece and i further went ahead to sew the zipper allowance we left and i also left space for my zip so you can go ahead now to fix in your zipper but for mine i did 
that's at the last stage so i pinned my zip allowance there and now i placed the front and the back piece together so i pinned these two pieces together with this of my office pin because like the fabric is not so stable so i just pinned them together so that they stay in place so yeah when drafting out the pattern like it's actually about the measurement in the beginning of the video we marked out six inches allowance to get the butterfly effect so yeah i'm gonna mark in six inches off on both sides yeah i'm marking out six inches off on this other side also i'm also going to be repeating that for the hip line straight down to the main to the length of the skirts so six inches off all sides up to the bottom part so like i said i'm going to be showing you guys how to do this with and without an elastic so yeah, when doing this without an elastic that's making use of a strap you are going to be marking out half inches twice from your actual body's measurement so you're going to mark it on the waist on the hip line and down to the full length of the skirt so that's giving us two casings to pass the straps through so that's then you tie it at the bottom of the skirt but then if you guys still want to see a video on how to do that without an elastic you can still see it in the comment section and then i might be creating one but typically like it's just the same thing with that of an elastic aside from the fact that for an elastic you need only one casing and for straps you need two casings so yeah i'm gonna do this on both sides of the skirt but for mine i'm making use of an elastic so yeah i need only one casing so i'm just going to head over to my sewing machine and sew my actual measurement and also sew half inches away from my actual measurement to create a casing to pass my elastic through so yeah we're making use of straps since my the length of the skirt is 26 so the length of the strap should be at least 32 just a number very higher than 26 so that it gives room enough space for you to tie it so for this illustration i'm just making it of 33 so i headed over to my sewing machine and then sew my casing for to pass my elastic through so yeah the elastic is measuring the length of the skirt which is 26 so i'm just going to be passing the elastic through the casing and then i'm going to make use of a safety pin to hold the elastic so that it doesn't pass through the casing yeah and i'm also going to further pass the elastic through to the end of the skirt and also hold it down with a pin also i'm going to be doing this for both sides so now that i'm done i'm going to head over to my sewing machine and then stitch the part where the elastic is the top and the bottom after which i'm gonna be slipping off the extra piece of the elastic so yeah i went ahead and attached my zipper so you can see that the back part of the zipper is looking kind of awkward yeah that's because it's rushed so yeah when you wear it on it's gonna be so beautiful so that's typically how you make a butterfly red skirt like this looking so beautiful like i'm obsessed with this skirt so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to turn on post notification please do have to like the videos because then it gets recommended to others thank you guys for watching bye bye and see my next video